to tell. Do you know it's been almost a week since Indio High School was flooded from the storm and the cleanup isn't finished yet. The school was one of the hardest hit and now a moldy smell from the wet carpet is causing some concerns. But let me tell you, those damaged rooms in the school are off limits right now to specifically prevent anyone from getting sick. Water that backed up all the way up here. The principal at Indio High School explains the damage from the storm. It went into the uh, 40, 30, Since Sunday's flooding, the so staff has been meeting here Friday. in a classroom. The staff is focused on one thing, cleaning up the mess. Backed up uh, a lot more than we had anticipated and caused a lot more damage. I mean, 27 classrooms, administration building. In fact, I have no office right now. The administration building is being repaired and so are the classrooms nearby that were flooded. They're off limits right now and will be until it's safe for the students and teachers to breathe the air inside the building. What the district is going to do is do an air test on Sunday. The, the company that does the air test is going to be open on Monday, even though it's a holiday, get the air results, and if it's what we think is going to happen, we'll be ready to go on Tuesday. And outside the school, a drainage ditch is being built in order to prevent future flooding of this magnitude. It's definitely time crunch for Indio High School, with all this construction and cleanup just days away from the beginning of classes. I, I think they'll be ready. Uh, we're doing a lot of dehumidifying in there. Uh, on uh, Tuesday morning, about 3, 4 in the morning, we'll have movers here putting the rooms back together. Teachers have the opportunity to come in early and do some work. The staff at Indio High School remains optimistic the cleanup will go as planned and that air tests will go well. Classes begin an hour late next Tuesday at 8.30 a.m. They hope this extra hour will give teachers some time to prepare and arrange their classrooms before students arrive.